The Senate is raising alarm over the nation's capital market regulator, Security and Exchange Commission over its expenses and personal costs at the Commission. The Senate, through its Committee on Capital Markets, made the observations when the Director General of the SEC, Dr. Lamido Yukunda, made a presentation before the Committee at the National Assembly. A lawmaker representing Ogun Central and Chairman Capital Markets was the first to raise observations on the personal cost of the Security Exchange Commission. Other members of the committee, however, advised the DG to expand the Commission's scope of revenue regeneration amid what he called drilling transaction on the floor of the stock exchange. I realized that looking through this, your emolument alone was almost maybe six billion out of the nine billion and other expenses that you are even continuing under this staff welfare. So clearly you are spending almost all of the revenue that comes to you. But I'm carrying out various forms of research mm. within our data capital capital market, I mean, uh, an economic wide you know, that of research. Okay, and you can sell these materials in Nigeria, outside Nigeria. For you as a regulator, find a way how are they doing in the UAE? How are they doing in the US? How are they doing it? And, Nigeria, and people are making money from it. And they, they engage a lot of Nigerians out of, uh, the, out, 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 out of the street. For the graduates of Nigeria, they are they're writing Okada. Yes, sir. So these are the things that I want you to do something about. In his defense, the DG says his commission has put in place new measures of increasing revenue generation for the federal government in the coming year. It took a lot of the suggestions that were given to us by the distinguished members you know, of those committees uh, to HUD. And we have actually proceeded to implement many uh, new measures, which I believe will actually get the commission you know, out of the wood you know, uh, by we can start seeing this even from the beginning of 2022. The Security and Exchange Commission disclosed that it remitted a revenue of 1.5 billion naira into the federal government's accounts between June 2020 to June 2021.